I needed one of those little handshake buzzers for clownery and tomfoolery. And Amazon was all like, that'll be $50, idiot. And then they spat in my eye, which is incredibly on brand for Amazon, but also unreasonable for like $2 of metal. So my pigeon aficionado buddy points me to the local magic shop's online store. And I use that term so loosely because this relic of 2004 GeoCities homepage has nothing but 150 by 150 pictures and a vague description and a price. This store is a catalog in which you then manually email the owner your order. So I email the guy. One handshake buzzer, please. No, you gotta spend $10 or more. Fine! Throw some stupid disguise glasses in there. I get a text. Meet me in the alley behind Ruck's Pizza. So luckily, Ramen comes with me, because if shit goes sideways, he could just yell in Spanish. We're two baby-faced idiots going on a deal with a magician in an alley behind the country's third most stabbable pizza joint. When the magician rolls up, he opens his truck and starts going through the contents. And I'm just hoping, like, 19 rabbits don't pop out, because we've got a fucking history. He looks at me and is like, I forgot your order. And I stand there like an idiot, because I'm expecting some sort of trick where he then pulls my order out of his sleeve and then we both laugh. But no. The man straight up led me to the back alley of the pizza joint rated 19th favorite fight club for absolutely nothing. He offers to go get it and drop it off at my house. And as a rule, I don't want to give a magician my address, but we've already come this far. Two hours later, the man ding-dong ditches my order on my front lawn. So I text him like, Yo, magic man, you never took my money. And he's like, I feel so bad for everything that happened. This one's on me. And I'm like, hmm, this also seems like a trick. But then he says, I perform magic at the Applebee's every Wednesday. You should come by. And if you think I'm going to suck down the wettest, most depressed mac and cheese to repay my debt to the magic community, well, guess what? I will. And I realize I fucking hate magicians. They're up-close wizards. They put one ball in your hand, and then when you open your hand, there's like 25 balls. I get it. It's sleight of hand. You're distracting me with some shit so you could do some other shit. And sure, I didn't get fucking stabbed in the back alley, but I'm still getting confounded by wizards. And isn't that worse? Prison was the worst six years of my life. If I'm being honest with everybody here... I would not recommend getting sentenced to 10 years in prison and only doing six. I mean, I would, because, like, if you get 10 years in prison and you only do six, it's pretty good. But I would not recommend doing it. If you, if you can, find what we call in the industry a patsy.